Hello brothers at sea, welcome back and seriously thanks for coming back to watch more of my videos. Today is another episode filled with lessons and tips to improve our foundation of knowledge on board. In this channel, feel free to get everything you want to learn. Last time in our previous episode of diagram series, we learned the main points before using a diagram and we learned its parts. Now that we know the basics of our diagrams, we can now dig a bit deeper on the watts of our diagram. Come, let us all together learn here in episode 2 of diagram series. Remember these familiar lines? Tired of doing this again and again? I'll let you in a secret, so pay close attention. Before we start, let us first see the steps to take on how to interpret a mark. For pipe marks, first is to take a look at the system label. Next, identify the nominal size. Then. Identify the pipe number and look at the specific use or category of the pipe. Once the specific category has been identified, you can now determine the working parameters of the pipe and even its material specifications. For valve marks, first is to take a look at the valve symbol. Identify whether it is a globe, gate, non-return, or whatever valve type it is. Next, identify the system label and the nominal size of the pipe. Once the specific use of the valve has been identified, you can now determine the working parameters of the valve, including its material specifications. This pipe here has a mark of WB102 and 200 on the top of it. This is what it means. The 200 represents the nominal size of the pipe, which means 200A. Remember number 2 of episode 1 of the diagram series? I told you to familiarize yourself with this, and here is why. WB102 means a whole lot of things. The WB means that this pipe is a part of ballast system. One one zero is the pipe number identifying that it is intended for GS pump suction and after peak ballast. Here we can see that the pipes under this category are STP G370E number 40. Aside from that, we can also see that the design and working pressures are at 0.49 MPA marked as 5K on flanges and valves and the design temperature of 45 degrees. Looking further, STP G370 number 40 actually means that the pipe is a carbon steel pipe, schedule 40 pipe. This is now what you can see in the IMPA or International Marine Purchasing Association book where you are ordering the same type of pipe. To summarize, the pipe WB102 200 is a carbon steel pipe schedule 40 with a working pressure of 0.49 MPA with a nominal size of 200A at a working temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. Amazing, right? Now let's take a look with the valve. The name of this valve is WV035. As you can see, it is clearly labeled that the valve leads to fire bilge and GS pump and the drawing number is there 
as a clear direction where you will trace it next. Again, this WB035 means a whole lot of things. Starting with the symbol, this tells us that this valve is a globe valve. The symbol WB means that this valve is a part of ballast system. From here, the valve mark is 35 which means that this valve is intended for GS pump suction and after peak ballast. Here, we can see that the line is indeed to fire bilge and GS pump. If we look at the size of the pipe connected on its outlet, it has a nominal size of 200 or 200A. Therefore, referring to the table of valves, we can see that it is a globe valve with a body of cast iron, a valve disc and seat of cast bronze, and a valve stem of brass with a nominal pressure of 0.49 MPa or approximately 5 kg per square centimeter denoted by the nominal pressure symbol 5K. To summarize, the WB035 valve is a globe valve cast iron 5K200A. Let's have another example. Feel free to pause the video every time you check the tables, after which a quick answer will be given. Let's see if we got it right. Here are the answers to this example. Let us see if you identified it right. Here are the answers. This time, we will be dealing with another example and a different drawing to practice our interpretation skills. Let's try this one. Let's see if we got it right. Here are the answers to this example.
Let's see if we got it right. Here are the answers to this example. Did you get it? If you do, then congratulations! You finally get the concept of interpreting the labels. If you don't, then feel free to rewatch the video again and again until you finally understand how it is done and practice more and more until you perfect this skill. I assure you, this comes in handy sooner or later in your journey on board. That's it! I hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot from this video. More videos to come in this diagram series and I hope you'll come back and watch more. Thank you so much everyone and if you liked the video, please hit subscribe and thumbs up. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Keep safe everyone!